guys <clears throat> in this video I have brought a question from linear algebra the question is asking let v is equal to 1 3 1 minus 1 and w is equal to 5 1 1 and find the unit vector in the same direction as v and find x such that the vector 2x my comma x minus 1 comma 3 is orthogonal to v and find all vectors which are orthogonal to both v and w let's do this question so the first question find the unit vector in the same direction as v so they have given the v uh, x y z for v value uh, so from this one i can find because there's a formula for this it's the v over v magnitude if you find this one it's the direction of you can find all the direction of all the values of well, values in the uh, v direction right so let's see what we get right here so first of all uh, I put V as V and then uh, you know how to find magnitude it's square root of all the square of this value so it's going to be 1 square plus 3 square plus minus 1 square so if I find that it's going to be root 11 so V over root 11 V over root 11 and my final answer is um, I copy the same v so it's going to be 1 3 minus 1 so if I multiply this one by 1 3 minus 1 I will get all the values in the same direction as same direction as v so let's multiply it's going to be 1 3 minus 1 right here so it's going to be 1 over root 11 comma 3 over root, root 11 minus 1 over root 11 right so this is my final answer and the second question is asking find x s x such that the vector 2x uh, 2x comma x minus 1 comma 3 is equal it is orthogonal to v so if there's something orthogonal to v it means we have to show that's perpendicular so in order to do that uh, we have to dot product and equalize it to zero because when you dot uh, whatever the value perpendicular to each other it will be it will give you zero because the cos 90 is equal to zero right so let's do that one okay here we go so 2x 2x comma x minus 1 comma 3 dot and they are asking orthogonal to v so uh, uh, i have to copy this v right here it's going to be 1 3 minus 1 1 3 minus 1 if I dot it's like simply multiply each value like x value with this one and like that so it's going to be 2x times 1 plus x minus 1 times 3 so it's going to be 3x minus 3 and 3 times minus 1 is going to be minus 3 equal to 0 so first of all I had to show this one equal to 0 then this is equal to 0 right so it's going to be 5x minus 6 is equal to 0 so x is equal to 6 over 5 so this is the answer for the second question they are asking to find x this is the x value and the third question is asking find all the vectors which are orthogonal to both v and w but they here we here's the thing we have to be careful some students do x y c dot 1 3 minus 1 and dot 5 1 1 1 that doesn't work because if you dot uh, x y z and this one you will get a, you will get a scalar scalar product and if you dot with the, this one it doesn't mean anything right so we have to be careful about that and there's a different approach to solve this problem so in order to do that I have to take both of them separately first for example I have to take this one, this one first 1 3 minus 1 and I have to dot it with x y z so which should be equal to 0 and what I have to do is I have to take this one 5 1 1 and dot it with same x y z 
so we know the common uh, common which are orthogonal to both so we, we can find the common orthogonal part right so in order to do that I have to find separately what I am going to do is now I have to dot and fire if I dot it I will get to x plus 3y minus 3 for the first uh, first one x plus 3y minus z equal to 0 and this for the second one is going to be 5x plus y plus z is equal to 0 so we have two equations here and they are equal to 0 so in order to find the variables first of all I have to do ghost Jordan method to find the final answer so if I bring this one into matrix form it's going to be 1 3 minus 1 and after this 0 we uh, let's put it and this is 5 1 1 so in according to ghost Jordan method we have to bring it into 1 over 0 and uh, this one over 0 right so in order to do that first of all I had to simply multiply the first equation by negative 5 and add it to the second equation it's gonna be 1 I have to show that one here so minus 5 r1 plus r2 <coughs> so it's gonna be 1 3 minus 1 0 so minus 5 10 3 is negative 15 negative 15 plus 1 is gonna be negative 14 negative 14 and this one negative 5 times negative 1 is equal to 5 5 plus 1 is going to be 6 so this is this will always remain 0 because if you multiply add or subtract with the 0 it's going to be always 0 right so that's going to be 0 now what I have to do is I have to make this one equal to 1 because according to Ghost Jordan it's going to be 1 over 0 and 0 over 1 so I had to make this one 1 in order to do that I had to divide it by negative 40 so let's do that it's going to be 1 3 minus 1 now r2 divide the r2 by negative 40 so which is going to which is going to give us 0 1 and 6 over negative 40 is going to be 3 over minus 3 over 7 <coughs> 3 over 7 and this is this both are equal to 0 and now I have to make the top one equal to 0 so in order to do that I have to multiply this one by negative 3 and add it to the first equation <coughs> so it's gonna be minus 3 r2 plus <coughs> minus 3 r2 plus r1 <coughs> so 1 0 <coughs> sorry so 1 0 and minus 3 times minus 3 is going to be 9 9 over uh, 9 over 7 this is 9 over 7 minus 1 1 means minus 1 mean minus 7 over 7 so minus 9 over uh, plus 9 over 7 we, uh, let's see so this is 9 over 7 right 9 over 7 this is minus 1 I can write 1 as 7 over 7 so which is going to give me 2 over 7 and that's plus this is 2 over 7 and this is 0 1 minus 3 over 7 and 0 0 so this is the final form of the ghost Jordan and according to this we know that uh, there's one free variable because this is a pivot this is a pivot and after that uh, we have one very vari free variable that's C so this is x y z so let's uh, create the equation the first equation is x plus 2 over 7 z is equal to 0 the second equation is um, we don't have x so it's y minus 3 over 7 y or oh, it's it's we have one one y right 1 y plus we don't have x 1 y y plus uh, minus 3 over 7 z is equal to 0 so I have to write everything uh, this since uh, c is free variable I have to write everything in terms of free variable so since we have this one here x is going to be equal to minus 2 over 7 z and y is going to be equal to 3 over 7 z and now we have to write in the form of x y z 
so for the x i, I am writing minus 2 over 7 z and for y i am writing 3 over 7 z and for z it's going to be z so this is my final answer um, and this is how we do this question i hope you guys enjoy this video see you next time